Today, we're talking about the very, very exciting subject of window managers on Mac. Now, you might search for a window manager on Mac, and you're going to find lots of options because you want to be able to do the things that you could do on Windows or with various window solutions on Linux and Mac traditionally has Mac given a lot of options. Uh, we've been able to, uh, you know, do split uh, windows and in Catalina, they added some fancy stuff to it. But the problem is you have to use a mouse. This is no good. And so there are a lot of windows managers out there. Problem is, is they are not really meant for developers. You can search and search and you're going to get some interesting solutions. But one of the biggest pain points is that you have to use your mouse to do things like changing which window you're in, which window you want to have focus, where you want a window. And so a lot of people coming from Linux, well, they miss Xmonad or i3 type solutions and they try to figure it out. But there is an answer to this. On Mac, there is available to you an open source application called Amethyst and it is awesome. It's going to change your life. And so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we go out to the Amethyst website and the link is in the description. And you can see that it's inspired by Xmonad. And there is a screencast out there that's a little bit dated. And uh, so maybe I'll put in a PR to give them this one. We'll see what they say. And so you can download it with Brew. I'm going to assume you know how to do that. And you will have to allow Mac uh, to give uh, permissions for accessibility so that this thing can control your computer, but you want it to control your computer. It's a good thing. And while you install, we'll take a look at intern cam. And yeah, he's not doing much. All right, so here are my settings for general. I leave most of the defaults and I like to follow through on windows between spaces. That's really nice and you'll see that in action in a little bit. So, you know, you can play around with these and see what you like. The different layouts, I like tall and full screen. I think that it makes a lot of sense to use two. Uh, some people will use more, but uh, it can get a little hairy after you have more than two. And I, I think that uh, finding two that you really like and sticking with it uh, is more than enough to get things done. And you want to float small windows, definitely. Those are your little uh, dialogues and things like that. And then other applications that maybe aren't really great for tiling window managers. Ecamm, Final Cut, Snagit, things like that. Now, you can go around and resize windows really easily with, uh, you know, Alt Shift H and L and move around and decide how much space you want your main window to take up. Everything is based on your main window. And so you can go around clockwise, counterclockwise. You can fill space all with really quick and intuitive shortcut keys, shortcut keys that I think they put a lot of thought into. And so you can move back and forth. Uh, it's all about moving, you know, orbiting around the main window. And so uh, you can always get back to the main window with Alt-Shift-M. Now you can also throw your window to another set of windows on a different screen or Mac desktop. So here, if I didn't want this window here anymore, I would just throw it over to the other set of windows on the other desktop. And uh, I could use it over there. I've made more sense over there. And I could also just go ahead and put it back 
uh, with the other set of windows, if that makes sense. So depending on your workflow, I like to have one set of windows for work, another set of windows for personal stuff, uh, you know, another set of windows maybe for some open source things or whatever. And you can swap the main window with uh, whatever window you want and make it the main window uh, with Alt Shift Return. And so then the windows will actually uh, now rotate around that window and you can put it back and you can go from tall to widescreen uh you can you know resize again i'm just using the two you go full screen put it back uh, switch where you want a window and all this will become intuitive to you so amethyst is really great and it really helps you get work done it helps you be a lot faster in your workflow and most importantly you never have to use a pointer ever if you value your hand and wrist and forearm and shoulder you need to get off the pointers mice track pads track ball whatever else touch pads and just get on with keyboards if you're working all day now obviously there's some applications where uh, you're going to need possibly want to use a trackpad to maybe drag a region or something if you're working with graphics tools and stuff like that even though there are keyboard shortcuts and so that's the most important thing and some people will say well i use the mouse but only for websites well, that's what Vimeon is for. We may check that out in a future video because between Amethyst and Vimeon, along with iTerm, I rarely, rarely have to touch a pointer. And so you can really avoid the pain. And trust me, after 20 years, you will be in pain. And it doesn't just end when you put the mouse down. It's 24 hours a day. so. I highly recommend it. Amethyst is wonderful and you should check it out. Thank you very much. And if you want to see more videos, please like this video, subscribe, watch it again, whatever. Thank you very much.